Hello everyone, it's Lauren with Lauren Elizabeth Fine Art and I just want to welcome you into Hickory Hall where I have been working pretty hard on a mural and I just want to share with you my process. I want to share with you some encouragement and some of the things that I've learned in this whole experience. It's just been a wonderful experience being a part of this. This is called Hickory Hall, and it's a place in Crystal Lake where they have made into a banquet hall. So I am working in the conference room that can be used as a bridal suite and can be used, um, you can host weddings in this building, um, baby showers, a range of events. This is the mural that I completed two days ago. I've been working on this mural for about two and a half weeks and it is just a the interior designer, my sister-in-law, who is responsible for designing this gorgeous building, is the one who suggested that it be a cherub theme with ladies wearing these flowy fabrics and um, lots of golds and auburns and browns and tans and so I tried to include a wide range of natural things mixed in with these little cupids and the floating in the air and I just had fun with it and the process was originally to start I made sketches but as usual it always evolves into something really unique and it just takes shape as it kind of as I paint Although it was the one of the smallest murals I've worked on, I did this while being <laughs> eight months pregnant. And so it was in very much a challenge and I really had to fight my comfort zone. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk to you about. I really want to stress how important it is to just step out of your comfort zone and not take shortcuts and to really just trust the process and where God's leading you and I really tried to do that while painting this mural. I wanted to just stop and give up a lot of days. I was so tired and fatigued and lacking motivation and inspiration but I just I called on the Lord every single day. I said a prayer before I would paint every single day and every time I did that I just had just enough energy and motivation to get everything that I needed done and on top of that I was trying to complete some commissions. I can really remember quite vividly back when I was struggling with an addiction and struggling with immense depression and that just all those things can affect you physically and mentally and I just knew that in order to grow and to become healthy and to accomplish my dream of becoming an artist, I needed to do things that were uncomfortable and step out of that uh, convenience. And although it can be painful and be scary and just make me feel so vulnerable, I never ever regret it. It, it can be so messy sometimes. And I think that's normal. I mean, it's just like a little baby who's learning how to walk, learning how to eat, learning how to talk. I mean, it's uncomfortable. It is not something that we know and are familiar with. And so it's only natural for us as human beings to be a little scared of making those steps. But that is the only way that we're going to get healthy or kick a bad habit or accomplish our dreams. And I'm just so thankful for all these opportunities that have really been pushing me almost over the edge. But I, they're just only growing me. They're just helping me to blossom into that beautiful rose that God has for me. One of my many role models is Sir Sylvester Stallone, um, the man who wrote Rocky. And I read that he got so poor and so desperate that he sold his dog to a man, random stranger, for 25 bucks. I mean, he was that desperate that he was going to give up his best friend for, for only $25. And, um, but then when he was able to get the 
investors to help him pay for Rocky, he went back to that man and of course that man wanted money and wanted a lot of money for that dog. Um, he was able to buy his dog back and put that dog in the movie, the Rocky Moon movie. And it's just so inspirational that some of the worst places that we get can get to in life that can be make us feel so hopeless and so desperate and so uncomfortable are actually a setup for for great things ahead. I mean, if we only if we're only envisioning the worst, the worst will come. But I Rocky is known to just keep on fighting, keep on looking forward and pushing, pressing forward. And that's why I'm so inspired by this man. The wonderful thing about murals is that in order to get the mural, I have to make these preliminary sketches. And so I'm basically doing, I'm basically setting myself up for greatness. I'm, I'm envisioning what my final goal is going to look like this beautiful mural and then it it's never exactly like the final sketches it evolves I make mistakes I learn from those those mistakes but I keep on going because I know what it's going to look like at the end and I know it's worth it and I know that I can do it and it's so wonderful to get these opportunities because I'm practicing um, accomplishing my dreams and going through something uncomfortable to get to a final beautiful outcome. As I was painting this mural, I wasn't just pulling these things out of my head. I was definitely reverting toward to a bunch of different reference photos that I got from my the interior designer and also from online, including um, this pillar, just getting an understanding of pillar shapes and the shapes of ivy and especially with people faces I was doing a lot of studying of women's faces turned to the side or looking forward or looking up or looking down and so before I do murals I definitely study a lot of different pictures of examples of what I'll be putting into the mural. One of my favorite parts in painting this mural was this pillar. I just had so much fun painting these adorable little vibrant green, dark green ivy that just grows. It's just climbing the pillar. And I just had so much fun then putting those white flowers that are just blossoming next to this beautiful, elegant pink lady. I call her the pink lady. And you'll notice I do a lot of jumping. <laughs> I never focus on one area. I will work on a certain section. Either I'll be frustrated or I'll be bored <laughs> or I'll just get excited for another section. And so I'll jump to that area. And in this case, I'm working on these birch trees that are just gonna take up part of the left background. Another reason I love painting murals is because I'm normally around other workers and professionals who are also trying to accomplish a goal and I got to meet some interior designers, some electricians, some plumbers and of course this other wonderful muralist Dawn who is helping me with mural number two. You'll have to stay tuned for that but it's just a really fun experience being able to meet all these people and I, I guess you could say my my office becomes their office and so I'm just able to meet new people in this whole process. At this point I was about 75% done with the mural and I didn't quite hit deadline but I was giving myself some grace. I just really was feeling the fatigue and the exhaustion and uh, but so much excitement of course with a baby on the way. And I had a lot of fun making these adorable little cherubs and I finished it off with um, adding details to the irises and the flowers that really just give more elegance to these women. And I'm just really pleased with the, the uh, outcome. Of course, it was not exactly like the sketches, but like I said, it always turns out like a just beautiful masterpiece 
And I really think that same thing goes with you. If you're struggling with something right now, just press forward, my friend. It honestly does get better if you just keep stepping out of that comfort zone. I struggled for six solid long years with depression and addiction, and I just felt like the only thing that got me through was the Lord, support from just a few people, and um, art was, my, was really helpful in that. So if there's any support that I can give you or encouragement or additional help, please feel free to email me. I would be more than happy to do that. I look forward to hearing from you, and if you haven't subscribed for regular animal painting tutorials, make sure you do, and then also like this video if it was at all helpful. Alright guys, have a wonderful day, bye.